Are we getting the Knights of the Old Republic movie we've always wanted? Star Tours looks a lot bigger now, and how long do we want Episode 9 to be? It's Collider Jedi Council right now. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Uh, how is everybody doing? It's Collider Jedi Council, and it is our Star Wars show. We're going to talk about everything Star Wars, and I like to enjoy Star Wars because that's what you do as fans, right? And we're going to do that today. We're going to talk about Star Wars. We're going to do what we've been doing here since 2014 and giving Star Wars all the love, all the love all the time. That's what we do on this show. So let's talk about, first up, news, movie news, Ken. Ken is here. Darina is here. We're going to talk about movie news. There's the droid. Let's talk about movie news and Star Wars. This is our first chance to talk about this here. You've talked about it other places. I've talked about it other places. But it's our turn to, together yes. to talk about this news that came out last week from BuzzFeed, which isn't always yeah, the best. Uh, but sometimes uh, I've heard that the reporter specifically involved sometimes right. considered, hey, that's that's legit. Snyder gives her the gives her the gives good, her thumbs yeah, up. That's what I mean. Up. That's what yes. I mean. Uh, that uh, this story came out. Star Wars movie based on the Knights of the Old Republic is... In the works, which is probably what we'll be talking about. Leta uh, Caligridis, uh, uh worked on Avatar, Shutter Island, a lot of stuff. Yes. A big resume, uh, perhaps writing the script or scripts. So our chance, the Collider Jedi Council chance to talk about this. Yes. Uh, Knights of Republic is a thing that we never really thought was in the works. We never thought mm -hmm. Knights, and, and we still don't necessarily know, but we're, we're acting as if this is a, uh, let, let's say it is. Let's say this is legit. Let's say that they are working on a Knights of the Old Republic trilogy. And let's assume that you would have to think, because no one's ever said and, and put together, and even in this report, that it, it is the Benioff and Weiss, um, but you would have to assume that that's kind of what it is, because otherwise this movie's not coming out until maybe like 2030 or something mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is you don't have somebody start working on the script now to release it in 10 years from now um because it seems like it, it it was the way the report came out that this they already finished the first script that they're moving along if you put that together with everything that benioff and weiss they finished their they, they have finished the, the game of thrones they're wrapped they're done and now they're going to start working on their next thing would make a lot of sense if their scriptwriter had just finished one of the scripts and now they can pay their attention to that and see what they want to do that's mm -hmm. that's step one now as far as nice of the old republic the reason why we didn't think that that would ever happen was because we didn't think they were going to adapt anything i think we talked about it last last mm -hmm. week on the show we didn't think they were going to adapt any of their material whether it was comics or novels they just haven't done that or made an interest that they wanted to do that so if they do that and they stay true to the story, not only do I think this will be some of the best Star Wars telling all time, I think it'll be the first great video game movie that we have ever seen um, because of the lore. I've told you this many times. Knights of the yeah. Republic is my second favorite Star Wars story next to Empire Strikes mm -hmm. Back. Mm -hmm. um, and I stick by that because of the storytelling, the music, the characters, everything about it. So it depends on how they adapt it. How many of the side missions will actually fit into the movie, if any? Um, how much of it will they, they keep certain twists and plot points because you know them or will they st say you know we're going to keep those in there because we're not going to assume that everybody watched this or played this game the same way you can't assume that everybody read the harry potter novels mm -hmm. or the lord of the ring novels or if they did or the game of thrones novels mm -hmm. and if they did then maybe they'll get more excited to see their favorite things come alive and maybe that was a thought process behind it so there's a lot to take in with all this Darina. the fact that knights of you played knights of the republic i did you? i don't remember the story as well okay. but um but i'm just excited because like you said i'm excited to see a good video game movie yeah. but also uh this woman uh carla gritty is like she definitely you know she also was involved in a shitty terminator movie but uh she, she she yes gotcha. but she also created altered Car carbon i don't know if you guys yeah, saw yeah. that mm -hmm. but it's it's you know well, she didn't create it phil she, k, D k dick created no no, it no she created the show i mean show, she, right. she's like the right, showrunner right, right. and so so clearly we we have a whatever you think of the show story it looks great right so she, we already know that she can make stuff happen that's quality uh shutter island i think is a really well-written movie so i'm excited to see you know to they're clearly finding talented people to work on these um uh, movies and uh not just uh the mandalorian but but for this particular story like i was actually trying to figure out who i wanted to cast as the characters like malik and and uh revan and um is that how you say it Ma malik revan for sure um 
uh, cord. Oh, I forget the cord. I forget cord. Bastila name. HK Shine. HK forty seven. Yeah, Bastila Shine or whatever. Uh, like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Bastila. Yeah, Bastila. Yeah, she, yeah. and so so you know I I'm excited to see who they're gonna cast uh, because the the people that are already involved are are talented people. So yeah, Ken. Now I know you've never played the game. I've been trying to get you to play it for ten years now. Um, maybe it's, it's better true. now that you don't because now no. if they do make this movie, you'll be, you'll go in kind of fresh. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't want to be spoiled. You maybe you don't get spoiled on certain mm -hmm. things, and I'm sure they'll change some th stuff up if they do these right. three movies, but um. Let's ask this. Do you think that this is the movie? Do you think that this is? Do you think this is this is an accurate report? Do you think this? If it is, is it the Benioff and Weiss trilogy? Because they said it's a trilogy of movies. And do you think it's the right move? I. That's. There's a lot on the plate. And if you start putting the pieces together, I know she was hired in 2018. That does make some sense. We've talked here about the yep. development process. Even though we know they've been busy with Game of Thrones, Favreau worked on Mandalorian in his office while he was working on The Lion King. It's right. just uh, you, you got to juggle plates. Not saying that they're you know rolling their sleeves and doing the whole thing, but maybe maybe, maybe they're playing Knights of the Republic on break. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have the <laughs> meetings. We like her work. You go do this, this, and that. I, all that does kind of make sense. And and it kind of a smoke there's fire thing. We've heard enough enough you know little rumors here and there about old republic or a uh, thousand years ago right. or whatever not right. even but yeah you're right as far as the knights of the old republic you know ryan denied of his series because i don't think he was working that at all right. but that's an easy one um uh sometimes it's come up but it wasn't until celebration that i think some of the stuff kathleen kennedy was saying to josh horowitz overall a lot of things named knights of the republic yeah, yeah. we had thought uh, she's just talking about old republic she's not talking about knights yeah it's it's sometimes when uncle bob says some stuff we're like ah bob just means oh no he actually meant exactly that right um so all like, well, again smoke there's fire it makes some sense as far as uh, is it a good move? Yeah, I think this is a good time period to go. I don't, you know, I don't. It's trap jaw and and tall dude. Uh, you know, you. Uh, they're they're good, <laughs> and I, you know, I know a lot of people are passionate about it. Yeah. Um, that also scares me because they look know, badass. Former, fr I mean, they're they're they're, they're friends. They're uh, af you know after because mm -hmm. the whole story with Revan where he starts off, and you don't mm -hmm. see Revan for a while. And then Malik is kind of leading the charge, and the Sith army yeah. is running. That's what I'm excited the about. Sith because, army, Sith because Jedi, man. That's what I kind of, you know, th whatever you think of the Last Jedi, that scene where they're fighting the uh, guards, uh, Ray and, and yeah, Kylo. Fun. Like, I want to see a bunch of Sith fighting. Like, I that sounds awesome. Yes, and one of the things that was really cool about it is you also see, like, and, and I don't know if they're going to do this in the movie, but in the game, there's Sith training. There's a Sith. Sith temples, there's right. Sith academy, there's all of that to where you know this is years before Bane drops the bomb mm -hmm. and wipes them all out. So you're gonna be able to see if this is indeed that time. That, that's I mean that's a big part of the story is the Sith army is basically the Empire at right. that point. So that's gonna excite Star Wars fans. For if sure. you start over that opening that opening scene to where they they have to get off this planet and the Sith bomb the piss out of this planet. I mean, they destroy the planet and they bomb it through these ships. That's going to be a sight to, to see. And it's also going to be, there's some really in-depth great characters. So I love the idea. And by the way, I've been championing um, Drew Carpetian to them, them to adapt his Darth Bane stuff. Drew Carpetian was a major writer on Knights mm -hmm. of the Old Republic. He's one of the main main writers on uh, it. So. Uh, uh, when, when, did, when did the game take place years wide? Do you know? Uh, I want to tell you, it could be off a thousand years, but it's either I believe sure. it's three thousand years I before. Four, four thousand. I yeah. might be off yeah. a year. I think it's three thousand years. Dorina might be right uh, before episode four. The only, right. the only thing that's interesting because just last uh, night I was reading. Uh, I've been slowly rereading the Phantom Menace novel yeah. just yeah. twenty years later, um, and there's an entire uh, three or four paragraphs about the history of the Sith in there, yeah. and I mentioned a Bane that I totally forgot was there, um, and they they put it as, at two thousand years. Now the novels. The Bane, Bane was later on. Bane, Bane, I know Bane was later on. Bane, I, I, yeah. I'm, actually, I'm joking, but I, yeah. I know Revan and Malik. I think Bane, because in the books, in the Carpathian books, I think it was a thousand years yeah. before. Yeah, so it's interesting that there's some of the stuff... I but at point being, I totally forgot it was there and yeah. totally forgot that some of that... And, 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 the, and the novelizations don't necessarily... The older ones not necessarily match up with all the stuff in canon, but uh, it's interesting to me because they could also fudge it. They could also, much like George R. Martin's going to be doing uh, with that prequel series he's helping on of like, ah, yeah, it's the long night. We're going to actually, it's not as long as you've thought. Right. You know, it's a different time period. So that, that's interesting to me too. It's all, uh, that you t talk about something meaty for a new series. It's yeah. just served up on a nice hot plate for you. Yeah, other yeah. than The Mandalorian, this is what has me mo more excited if, if this is what's happening. Uh, now, you know how I've been screaming to the rooftop about oh, The Mandalorian. Oh, I know. Now, and it's, You've it, been the loudest nerd screaming about yes, this. You know, yes, The Mandalorian, The Mandalorian. Uh, you're not going to be able to pry me away from my television when that comes out. However, 
if you told me that the Knights of the Republic movie was coming out at the same time and I can only watch the Knights of the Republic movie of Mandalorian, I'm going Knights of the Republic. Right. Because like I said, Knights of the Republic are, is my second favorite story of all time. And I'd be very curious to how it translates um, into three movies because mm -hmm. there's enough there that you can make three. And that's why I'm glad if it is indeed this rumor is right. true and there are three movies, um, that's the way you do it. Yeah, and especially because like, it's just exciting to be introducing all these new characters to uh, fans that are just you know movie fans, right? That didn't play the games. Right. right. So right. yeah. Um, all right. So I mean, that's really a question, to you guys. Do you think that first of all, you think the rumor is true? Uh, Knights of the Republic is it going to be a movie and it should it be the movie should this be the adaptation or they should do something completely different um, I personally think this should be the adaptation because I think the fans that like like a Ken Knapsack or or anyone else who doesn't necessarily who have never played the game or maybe younger fans who just think it's a little too dated um, have an opportunity to see this great story writing and I think it also gives an opportunity to those writers th th for that game that came up with this all those years ago that have will be rewarded by a larger fan base going to see um, what they've created. And I also hope, I mean, I, I hope that, that Benioff and Weiss reach out to like Drew Carpichian or any of those guys from Bioware from the first movie. What I hope they don't do, to be completely honest, I don't want to see them take anything from uh, Knights 2. Uh, Why? Knight, it just wasn't a great story. Okay. Knights of Republic 2 was, was, it was okay. It, it was just okay. The, fir the first story is the one that you should you should go with. You don't need to. You, I think you can just keep. Maybe there's some elements that you can play with in two, but I think the first game gives you enough, like from a, as long and detailed that that is. I mean, there's Wookies in there. These runaway kids. There's the there's the uh, the underground of of um, Coruscant. There's there's so much. There's so much that you can do inside of this uh, this trilogy that would be fantastic for fans. What would you say is the most fascinating character in that? In, I mean, in Knights of the Ro it, Old Republic. So the main character, um, for sure, that you're that you're playing as is pretty and Bastilla. The Bastilla, two, yeah, yeah. The, the the two of them because they don't really play on the uh, on, on the and I think this was, this was 2004, three right? Four, right? Three or four. So they didn't really play on the whole love forbidden thing oh. because it it's it wasn't a thing. Yeah. So like they 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 play into that. And they have and it's relationships and and I'm also curious because there's something that's just again for Knights of the Republic fan fans that there's something that you can do in, in the game you can choose to go one way or another way um, which way do they choose for the main characters you can't do that in a movie you know yeah. it's like so which so which way do they choose it, and and maybe there's some there's some changes there's some things that they do that could be a nod to fans that's that the fans mm -hmm. say wow they went down that route there are some great characters there's bounty hunters there's it's everything the only thing that I always had a problem not a problem with that I always said all right I just gotta let that pass is like we said three or four thousand years whatever it might be mm -hmm. right all the technology is pretty much the same mm -hmm. uh, nothing's really changed mm -hmm. at all and it's mm -hmm. it's so you know yeah, you could you could get over that. They found some tech that worked, and they that's, said we're going to keep. That's fine. It. We're going to keep it. Right. It's like my my uh, my late grandfather. Everything in 1985, we're we're stopping. No <laughs> microwaves after that. Um, I just ordered a VCR, by the way. Did I tell you that? No, I have one. I What's a VCR? One. That's right. I ordered one on 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 the on the eBay. <laughs> it's good I, to have. And I got one. Good the, to have. The eBay.com. I yeah, the eBay. I went to uh, I went to, I was looking at my garage, yeah. and I found all these VHS tapes. I said mm -hmm. I have nothing to watch these on. And so yeah. I ordered a VCR. You proud yeah. of me? Yeah, I am. I actually want to borrow it because I have a ton of VC right. VHS. That's see. Yeah, I have, I, have, I have one of those uh, the multi ones: DVD, VCR, just old technology right. in one deck. I can watch my Spice Girls yeah. VHS wow. video collection. VHS in reached out as inviting us to their theme park. By the way, the VHS, VHS land. Yeah, yeah. Okay. VHS right. Speaking land. Speaking right. of, be kind, what's rewind. Next? Hey, you know, uh, last week, uh, um, among uh, all the things in the Star Wars world, uh, make Solo two happen was a hashtag kind of begun by uh, the nice folks over the Resistance broadcast, and, and it picked up speed for some even the cast members. Whether or not you believe this is actually would have worked, uh, I, I, it, it wouldn't have. Uh, but um, it, it got up to Jonas Swadamo and John Kasdan. And John Kasdan kind of responded to the whole thing, teasing what uh, his thoughts of a second solo movie. And it was an all-out uh, kind of war between the uh, cartels, so to speak, the criminal syndicates, um, Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts, and he was saying what the what the sequel he, was going to be. Uh, the, uh, uh, you know, means so much to everyone involved, and your enthusiasm makes it possible for us to keep advocating for it because the maker knows there's a war story set in a galaxy far, far away that's yet to be told. And it would be, and he tweeted out the, the sigils of all these houses, so to speak. Um, and that's kind of interesting because uh, a lot of people like the, you know, uh, Kira Mall, we hear a lot of stuff about that and what Mall's happened? involvement yeah. in the in the syndicates. That'd be that would have been interesting enough. Yeah, no. 
Is um, he is he tweeting it as it's it's fact or is it what it would have been the story? Just kind of hinting like, hey, this is you know, just the this ideas that they had. Yeah, this could have been he was, he was you know signed on that to do another one. Cool. And they probably thought like when you do a Star Wars movie, yeah. mm-hmm. you assume that this movie's gonna do well. Yeah. This movie's gonna do enough that we're gonna have to do a sequel because it's Star Wars right. and it didn't. So, but he still that doesn't mean they changed the uh, the idea to do. And just because it didn't do well doesn't mean it was a bad movie because I enjoyed no, it. No, and, I, and I've, I've this is what I've said and I've said it a million times about the movie is that I I think that it's um it's one of these things that it, it just it's there's nothing about the movie that I think is a bad movie. It just it was an unnecessary film. I think that uh, he he just wasn't Han Solo. He's a great performer. He's a great actor. The character that he played in that movie was great. It just wasn't Han Solo to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that it was a great episode of like Clone Wars or Rebels, and that's why I say that if you're gonna do another one, you do a TV show. Mm-hmm. I don't need to see it in the movies. I do not need to see this in the theater. I would much rather focus on something like, kind of taking a page out of your book to saying, give me something fresh, right. give me something new, give me the Knights of the Republic and make it a movie and let's introduce people to some great characters mm-hmm. that only like the hardcore nerds really know Han Solo is is uh, is very hard to beat mm-hmm. Harrison Ford's Han Solo on the big screen I agree if you the reason that like a young Indiana Jones worked on the small screen is because it's less forgiving on mm-hmm. television right yeah. and you can do something and if you have all this material and you have the money to get all the stars back and you can elaborate to do that war for 10 limited series and you can make it run at the same time Go for it yeah. and do it, and because then I think you get way more eyes on that show and way more excitement on that show than you would a movie if you took out one of these big movies and say, oh, you know what, we're gonna push back on Night's Old Republic so we get a solo too, mm-hmm. because even the hardcore fans that want it right now, there's a ton of us that don't, and right. I would much rather see this on Disney Plus. Right. Well, and also, I mean, I think, uh, you know, we don't we don't need a solo too. Maybe what, maybe what would be fun is just a side character story, right? Like I do like Kira, right? Like I think she's an interesting character. Like you were saying, the Maul relationship, I w- that would be fun to watch, even though they're you know Maul is already in most Star Wars things right. now nowadays. But I even like the villain in Solo, right? Like I like the side characters. Like yeah. there's a Cassian Andor uh, series coming out, right? Like that's a t- I'd rather get to know these new characters more than you know just risking displeasing the fans by like rebooting some right. ca- some really well beloved character Ken you're a big mm-hmm. fan of Solo the film I, um, I absolutely love it uh, yeah. I, what you're talking about is you treat uh, Infus Nest a Cassian Andor series some kind of crossover yeah. even bringing <laughs> Saw Gerrera back in and right. have them yeah. work that, that, yeah that the world building in that I, I'd love where do yeah. you stand on this too because like I said you're not I mean it's not that you're not a fan of the Night Soul Republic you just don't know enough about it right I, uh, no I, yeah I'm not I, and and uh, every, every probably every time I pop on Twitch someone asks me so to play it well, let me ask you a question then so yeah. if you had so because you're a solo fan and they and and they said to you Ken we're gonna base this decision on you and we're gonna say <laughs> we're gonna say that we can either put solo two in the theaters mm-hmm. in 2021 and push back Night's Old Republic to 2023 or 2024 um, or We'll give you a, a solo Disney Plus series in about a year and a half, two years. What do you take? 100% the series. Yeah. Same with the Obi-Wan stuff. Uh, the, the, the rumors of an Obi-Wan series, because kind of what you're saying, it's less pressure, and I feel as though I can just enjoy it. Yeah. I can just enjoy mm-hmm. it in my home, and I don't have to worry about the box office takes and all these other uh, think pieces about that. I can just go and enjoy it. And 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 the Knights of the – or even, even if it's just – Formation of Sith or Formation of Jedi, whatever it is, that works for me as an idea as a series of right. movies. That's that's a world because it's one wouldn't be enough. You can't you can't tell me the Knights of the Old Republic in one movie would be. Yeah, would, it's like you were trying to do yeah. Lord of the Rings in one yeah. movie. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah, no, I, I which think they tried to do. They did try to do. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, absolutely. I I, I, I totally agree. And and be able to spend more time in the world with those side characters. Yeah. yeah. I just think people would be more forgiving of. And, and yeah, again, absolutely. I take nothing against his performance. I think that the performance that he did in that movie was great. Yeah. It just was a different character. Yeah, it just wasn't I, Han Solo. I agree with that. And I think people would be more forgiving of him um, and, and in general, not forgiving, that's not the right word, more accepting of him in the role and other characters if it was on a Disney Plus series. Uh, um, yeah. Also, can I just say that the hashtag make Solo 2 happen? I'm like, oh, that's kind of nice to see a hashtag where people like Positivity. something and it's yeah. positive. Oh, no, I agree absolutely. With Don't get me wrong. I, I got oddly grumpy about it because it's just not how the industry works. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, no wait, executive. Wait, that's, yeah. that's not true. What? Did you get us to the Sonic thing? Because that not, was, not that was given into terrorists. No, 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 no. Not, <laughs> not Sonic. Um, TV shows have been saved. 
That's true. TV, yeah, Lucifer was saying. TV shows uh, also uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. For fans it, who who think that's how the industry works, though. right? It happens every once. It in a while. It happens yeah. every once in a while, but yeah. it, I don't think it's a bad thing to show your love for something yeah. like like Dorina's saying. This is a positivity thing. So well, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like one of these things that if you can put it out there and and. And I would thank you if you if you if you put this out there because I saw it and I and Brian Ward did the brilliant designer who did this show. shirt yeah and, and and Brian Ward yeah Brian that's a great show, shirt yeah. Brian Ward did a post and he's in the, he's a solo guy right and yeah. he posted it out there and he wrote um, make solo to happen and in my silliness I was about to reply no thanks with a gift or something I said no I said, I said I'm not doing that yeah. I said I said he should have every yeah. right to try to get his this this thing back and you know what he might be able to do you know what this petition might be able to do this petition might be able to say enough people want a show let's make a series because I'm on board for that I'm getting excited for that I'm talking about that show and saying what's next how are they going to use mall because you can do a full episode on mall and not even worry about solo yeah. you can do a full Lando thing and not worry about it and you don't have to put the pressure on him the way the pressure is on him on a movie yeah. pressure doesn't have to be on him uh, on an ensemble cast. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving yeah, on. Yeah, no, I did, your point, your point of being having something positive out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When I say I got grumpy about it, it was almost because I was so depressed. It's not possible. Right. <laughs> right. Like, I, yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't Dude, know, trust man. me. I, I'm very sad about Man of Steel two every day. No, it's I, okay. I, understand. I think it's. I think oh, okay. it's possible, and I think. I think that the. It, it looks to me. Strangely enough, and I've been I've been kind of uh, against this point of view for a long time. It looks to me a little bit more these days that Lucasfilm is kind of paying attention to the zeitgeist, uh, li li listening listening to what's going on out there to to the fans, right? And but I think there has to be a balance, right? Of, because of I think 100%. yeah, because I mean these petitions are crazy, right? Like like it's one thing to hear the fans, just like you're <laughs> consulting actual comic book writers and fans, right? right? Like you have to have a balance of that and then your team and your creative team, totally, right? So you got to be. You You've got to make the best stories that fit your team for exactly. sure there's no doubt about it but you can also like i said pay attention to what's going out there I and mean, people have been screaming for a night sale republic movie for bef you know before disney bought the damn thing um so it's one of those things to where maybe it's not too inside baseball mm -hmm. for kathleen kennedy and kathleen kennedy thinks that okay wait a minute are enough people now are really calling for this thing what do i know maybe maybe we should develop this right. thing maybe benny off and weiss take a look at this video game what do you think is there something there and maybe then, we'll get we'll finally get a claudia gray book you well, know yeah. maybe so yeah. I mean, maybe maybe they're going to pay attention a little more to the material that they have mm -hmm. and this could be an inspiring thing for them and, uh, and definitely for us so it could be good things could be good things we're gonna we're gonna find out i think we'll find out and that's kind of one of the things i wanted to ask also for you guys that we didn't get to in the beginning of the show uh -huh. um if this indeed the knights of the republic thing is true when do we start to hear a the announcement of what it is and b when do we start to get cast start with you ken I, I think it's a, when do we start hearing it official is yeah, a different. When, when's the announcement of, of or, or rumors, you know what I mean? No, no, no. Probably the, the, after nine, no? Probably after episode nine comes out. I think it's before that, and I'll tell you when I think it is. Do you, do you know? Because I feel like they're going to focus more on The Mandalorian right now. I think it's uh, you, would, whenever Uncle Bob wants to <laughs> spill the beans. <laughs> I think yeah, we, we cast Tom Hiddleston as uh, Darth Trapjaw. Yeah. <laughs> Movie's coming. D23. Yeah, which is what July? November? July. No, it's early. Oh, is it? Is it, it, it the it, summer? It's sometimes it's July, sometimes it's October. So I do. Think I have to win a hotel lobby, uh, hotel lottery thing to get in for D23. For D23 no. I don't think you can so. sleep in my car. Well, it's in Anaheim too, so you can drive. Oh, I can go um, to my grandma's. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So D D23, I think, is where because I think that D23, you're going to get a bigger trailer for episode nine, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I think they're mm -hmm. going to make some news. And I think the news will be because I think it'll be far enough removed from the finale of Game of Thrones that they're going to make the announcement about what the series is and they'll announce no big cast or anything too they're sure. just going to announce Knights of the Republic maybe a director maybe a director I like that but, um, but we will get and I still I, I would love to see the Russo brothers direct this thing I would love mm. to see the Russo brothers direct it I think I know you're a little split on that but I think that uh, I loved Endgame I know just did not like Infinity War uh, that's fair yeah. uh, alright Ken what's next mm. hey final movies? well that's kind of it All right. for movie news I just want to know are you still fighting with Matt Smith <laughs> are you still fighting not fighting not fighting. fighting with Roxy's dryer. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just, you know, guys know my stance. If you watch Collider Live, and I would say maybe forty-five percent of it is serious. But I, what I, what I would say is that um, I just feel that, I, and you know, and as even hearing myself with this whole thing with Matt Smith, right? It's more of a problem with JJ 
who I love is coming back. I can't wait to see his vision of the movie. I think the approach that he's doing is fantastic. I hate the black box stuff. I can't stand the secret crap that he does all the mm -hmm. time and this, this stuff he's making. He makes his actors lie. He did the same thing with with Benedict Cumberbatch with Khan, and he's doing the same thing with Matt Smith, and it's ridiculous. Either you know, like when someone asks Matt Smith if he's in the movie. Very simply, no comment. I can't talk about any projects that I'm doing right now. Don't lie to the fan base. It's like some people won't care, but it's like, ah, he's just protecting it. Other people, it just, it just sits wrong. I just don't think you need to lie about it. I know maybe you I, I mean, I agree, but also <laughs> sometimes you're just not even thinking about it, and that's your first reply. When somebody asks you, are like, oh, crap, right. I'm not supposed to talk about to. it. Or you yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I forgive him for that because I don't know if I could be caught like a deer in the headlights. I'm like, oh, crap. Yeah. No, I'm not. But it's just like the worst kept secret. Everyone knows he's in the movie. Everyone knows he's in it. It's like at this point, you know, then the Disney removes him from the from the cast list. It's like because JJ made the note of like they really want to try to sell it. It's like just just stop. I just do tell us he's in the movie. I do think also too that casting news shouldn't be that big of a deal no. to hide. Like it's more about plot points that I would be worried about that being spoiled. That's exactly right. Yeah. I don't have to see him once. I don't need to see him in the movie. I don't need to know what he's doing in the movie. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. if he's in the movie, tell me he's in the movie. Right. And because mm -hmm. now, now there's more of like, well, what is he really doing? What's really right. happening now? As opposed to like before with Carrie Russell, we knew she was in the movie. We waited to mm -hmm. see a picture of her. And there you go. Right. This is like, we're not, we're either going to see a picture or we're not. And then you get all these rumors coming out. Now these leaks coming out about what his character's doing. And it's just like, it's, it's just silly. You're silly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just think it's fun. I love when you would watch these screams. I think um, I think it's <laughs> it's more than more more than likely that he's in the movie right. and that uh, or that maybe you know a worst case maybe he was cut. I don't know. Who knows? Um, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Well, I, I just think it's, I, I I know what you're saying with the the, the con stuff got ridiculous. And people got the, and people and there was there was legit there heat was, from there people. was backlash for it. The con yeah. stuff and even altering some of the footage they showed at uh, the the convention in Vegas. Right. Uh, with the other name was a John Harrington or something like yeah. Don something like that. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And you know or we've not. seen Marvel alter mm. trailers and stuff. That that's fine. That's different. That's different. <laughs> um, so I I understand. They didn't confirm or deny if Spider Man was in Civil War. They right, didn't say right, he's right. not in the movie. They just didn't show right. you, and they took. They didn't want to spoil it for you. Right now, like for example, if he's, you know, let's let's say he's, uh, let's say he's a Sith Lord, right? And we and people and and they asked, is he a Sith Lord? There's no comment. They don't show a picture of him. They don't show anything. That's not. That's that's fine. Right. Or you, then, he's not this. He's not that. He's not in the movie. It just it's it just it just sits wrong with me. I I, I, can, yeah. I can take that anger away from me. I don't know. You can't. Good. You can't today. Good. You can't today. Good. You can't today. I'm taking it away from you. All right, that's it for movie news. Yay. All right, everybody. <laughs> so now we are going to move into canon. Everything going on in the world of canon, we are going to talk about it. Hey, what's the deal with canon? Ken, what's going on? Hey, first thing up here uh, tomorrow, at the time of this recording, uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is officially open. Uh, Collider's Haley Fouch covered the opening ceremony for our friends over at Collider.com. And uh, it's big, it's epic. Uh, our friend uh, uh, Nathan Hamill was there, Darina, dressed as teak. <laughs> uh, looking for teak tenders there. It was, uh, it's pretty big, pretty impressive. What do you think? Are you are you a theme parker? I am. I love theme parks. Why? I when Harry. Why you don't yes. like to smile? It seems like joy's not fun for I you. I like to smile when it, you should smile about it. Okay. But anyways, uh, it's hard to make me smile, Ken. You make me smile. Oh, thank you. But um, no, I love theme parks. I'm actually. Yeah. Uh, I was texting with Nathan yesterday and this morning, mm -hmm. and I asked him, uh, you know, what was your favorite thing you saw? Uh, he. Uh, I quote, he said, it's Darina free so far. So he was very happy about That's that. Good, he was just yeah. giving me crap. But he did say that uh, piloting the Falcon was his favorite thing that he did. And I feel like yeah. that sounds pretty cool. Oh, That's I, something that I'm excited to do other than yeah. drinking blue milk. Uh, other than drinking or just drinking uh, alcoholic space beverages, True. though there is that limit there. Yeah, the the, I, I, the Falcon ride, uh, the Smuggler's Run, uh, seems to be the big uh, calling card. I know the, the Rise of the Resistance isn't ready yet, um, but seeing all the footage like saw Bobby Moynihan tweet mm -hmm. out, who's, you know, friend of the show, been here before, uh, uh, being in the in the piloting the ship, yeah. I think crashing a couple times. And I, that's what I'm worried about. Waiting in line, because mm -hmm. you know it's going to be long, mm -hmm. getting in there, and they're like, Darina, you're the pilot of the Falcon. And then you crash and kill us all, because mm -hmm. I'd be a gunner or an navigator. Is that how it ends, though? I think that there's you can affect the ride, obviously. what if I, we're I don't know bad yet. at it? That's I mean, I think I would be good. You but wait what if three and a half hours for the line, and you get in, you take the Falcon up, and you crash into a mountain, and we all got to go. Well, hopefully an asteroid. 
That's yeah. a good way to go. Yeah. But no, I'm excited to go. I'm not excited to uh, brave the crowd, so I'm going to wait a little bit. But I mm. do love, I mean, when they open, uh, you know, the Harry Potter world yeah. at Universal, like I just love walking around, uh, seeing people dressed as the characters, you know. Getting uh, into it. Yeah. yeah, eating the food. It's just nice to be in this immersive, uh, fantastical experience. So uh, I'm looking yeah, forward yeah, to yeah. it. Did you watch the live stream at all, the grand ceremony no. that, that they had? No. Uh, Billy D. George George comes out like, yeah, all right, uh, thanks, Bob. Um, yeah. <laughs> Billy D. Mark Hamill, uh, Harrison Ford, who's uh, they gave him the right kind of juice, if you know what I mean. He had a good time. Um, no, was, yeah, I actually did. I didn't see it, but I heard mm. they did a little uh, uh, nod to uh, Peter Mayhew. Uh, which uh, I Harrison was cool. did. He said, uh, Peter, this one's for you. So it's good. It it's open uh, opens uh, tomorrow, though. You got to have that reservation system, which is oh, hey, there's Rex. Yeah, that's right. I forgot they have Rex in there. Paul Rubens uh, bringing back Rex. Uh, it opens tomorrow, but you got to have some reservations in June. I think it starts opening. Don't forget in Orlando in the fall, theirs opens up as well. For more information, go to Collider.com. Our friend Haley Fouch, she's great. She was there, probably had a lot of blue milk and green milk. She has all the information there. So uh, we got comics coming out. As we always say, we're behind on the comics. Uh, Dark Visions, Age of Rebellion, uh, Job of the Hutt's out. Check those out. Maybe one day we'll just do a big giant look into comics, but we'd have to finish them. Uh, I did finally uh, finish Master and Apprentice and getting started on Dooku Jedi Lost. Did you finish Master and Apprentice? Not yet, but did you get the, and then the other one uh, just came out. I just got a copy of it. What's the one? Uh, I have the uh, Alphabet Squadron. Yes. Yeah, I have that waiting to start too. Uh, that's another one I can't. Uh, so. I'm just, I've got a book on the history of kids in the hall that I'm waiting Ooh. to read. Yeah, I get it. And I just want to maybe take a. Yeah. Reading, yeah. man. There's a lot of books. Yeah, it's a sandwich. I mean, you just did write a Star Wars book. I'm sure you want a break from Star Wars. I, listen. Yeah, but even then. I want to, uh, there's so much that I have. I'm actually, but it's like, it's it's impossible mm -hmm. now yeah. to do, to, I mean, you know how hard it is to my house to watch well, television. Yeah, raising some reading children. A book. That's, that's, that's the thing. That takes a lot that's of time. My, my, my youngest, I oh, want my youngest, my oldest yeah. actually reads all the time. Have her read some I, I, I gave, you know, it's funny. I gave her master and an apprentice. <laughs> and said, give me a book report on this. Start reading. And she's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I don't, I don't really understand all the way. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a, yeah. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, she's a, she's a very advanced reader, but yeah. like that's. You know, does she, so does she read any of the comics? Yeah, not, um, she read Star Wars, some Star Wars comics and some Marvel stuff. She's like, she yeah. really into that stuff. So I love that really job of the hut cover. Look at Sally B down there. Yeah, man, that's good. Sally Look at B, that. I, like I hope he survived. I hope you made it out. Uh, of these Probably artists not. are so Maybe he just good. Boo, yeah. Flew. yeah, something like that. I can <laughs> see All right. that. Um, so is uh, that everything in the world? That's kind of it for World of Canon. Uh, we got some Twitter questions to wrap up. If let's you want, let's that. get to the uh, let's get to the fans here. We're gonna All take right. a few questions. You guys have sent in a few questions. You hashtag at Collider Jedi Council. Kenneth Nafsakian goes through them and then he reads them. Yeah, gonna John, uh, John Roca. Uh, uh, curates a fine list. John Sava at John Sav says, would you prefer The Rise of Skywalker to be a three-hour movie or maybe a two-hour, 45 minutes? Uh, which would you prefer? You get this question every then. This is our official answers. What do you want? What do you want? Pee breaks? What do you want? Here's bring in an empty people bring that, cup. Well, bring, people bring up this conversation obviously because of Endgame. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Endgame was three hours and I believe that it, it needed to be. I think that mm -hmm. Endgame mm -hmm. took together all this stuff that happened from the first Iron Man all the way through and it needed to wrap up in this time period. I mean, shoot, even from the, the, the Infinity War, they had so much that they had to wrap up that it took about three hours to do. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know yet if I need a three-hour Star Wars movie because I don't, because I also feel that as we've all said, and I think agreed on, that the, the, these three movies have pretty bit much been like, you do the movie you want to do when you direct the first one. You do your movie how you want to do it. There's no real connection yet. I mean, kind of. You can connect right. some of his characters. You can connect some of yours and do what you want to do. And then, oh, you're not going to do the movie anymore, so would you like to do it again? Okay, you're going to do the third one. Um, it, it's, just, it's not a whole tie into everything yet. Mm -hmm. This is going to be like a, almost like a sequel, I feel, to, to Force Awakens. I know some people push back on that. Um, so I don't know. It just depends. If the story feels right and it doesn't right. feel like they're just forcing a bunch of scenes that could be deleted, then I'm all good for a three-hour movie. But I think that you could do a two-and-a-half-hour Star Wars movie. And no, I think the longest one is 235, if I'm not... I think, well, yeah, I was forgetting. Last Jedi and Attack of the Clones are the longest. They're the longest, yeah, right? Yeah. So, And I'm okay yeah, with Attack that. Yeah, Attack of the Clones was like nine hours. And it's, it's long. I'm okay with that if it if it fits the story. I don't think Attack of the Clones needed to be that long. No. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm okay with it depending on how they how they do it. Yeah, I mean, I think in general, most franchise, a big franchise films don't need to be that long because it's usually uh, they're even sequels, right? Like, but I think I agree with you that Endgame did need to be that long. So if you, ha it depends on what they're doing with Rise of Skywalker, right? Like, if they are wrapping up uh, the Skywalker saga 
uh, per se. Like we we might need a, a longer movie uh, to really you know to give it the honorable right send off to to these beloved characters and this family that we we've, we've all loved. But at the same time, you know maybe uh, may, maybe the plan was to like you said like if it's a continuation more of Force Awakens and Last Jedi. Like right. I don't I don't know what they're gonna do, but <laughs> I don't think this the the time matters as much as the just give me a good story. Have it be an hour or three. Just give me a good story. Just That's give me all a good I care story, about. Right. Yeah. Have it all make sense. Ken, where do you stand on? Uh, I I don't need it to be long. Uh, you know. JJ doesn't strike me as that kind of filmmaker yeah. either. Uh, he's, you know, he's not a fan of deleted scenes, director cuts. Those, what's on the screen is, is what he likes, type of situation. So, uh, if, if if they feel they need it, then I trust that. Uh, it's interesting the business side of it. You know, th that's changed where long movies you wouldn't want to do because it wouldn't make as much money. It, not enough theaters, enough showings. That's uh, even before Endgame. That's kind of been tossed aside. But then you see what Endgame's does and you probably look around and go well i guess we could still make money doing that right you know jj pedal the metal go for it do what you want to do Do what you got to do i mean yeah. i think a lot of times that's the thing is that a director uh, when a director is told something like that i mean look at what scorsese i guess is doing for like irishman right mm -hmm. i think irishman's mm -hmm. gonna be a very long movie or uh he because there, well there's no there's no handcuffs on and netflix mm -hmm. can do what he wants that could be a good or bad thing right. right um so i agree with doreen i think that as long as the story is is keeping me engaged mm -hmm. from start to finish. I don't care if it's four hours, but mm -hmm. I just want to be engaged. I don't care if it's an hour and 20 minutes. Right. Am I excited from the moment it starts to the end? I don't want to have, what I've been bummed about with Star Wars movies in general, right? In the, in the last like a uh, couple of years since Lucasfilm sold to mm -hmm. Disney, was that there's at least one moment in the movie or, or two that I'm like, either I can go to the bathroom right. or I can just say, ah, I wish they didn't have this scene in here, but I like the rest yeah. of it. Yeah, I, I, I hate calling it throwaway scenes because I know that the cast and crew work really right. hard on these things, right. but, but you're right that I don't know if they're necessarily like imperative to the story. There's just certain things that I don't necessarily, like I just, I like Empire, I have none of those. Because yeah. um, that's Hope, a perfect I movie. have none of those. Jedi, I have none of those. Um, and I really, you know what's funny, Ken? Because I know about, my, I think holding strong for the last like three years, I've put, um, I've ranked Force Awakens over Jedi. I watched Jedi again the other day. I'm going to slightly put Jedi over. Um, well, because that ending. Of course. Well, mean. it's that, and it's because the Emperor's my favorite character, yeah. and I think he shines the strongest yes. in this movie. Yeah. Um, and the music, the score, and, and everything, the too. Be best Star Wars space battle. It's, so it's pretty good. great. It's pretty great. And I, and I, I think that I, I, I buy in too much to the fact of it, the, that the Ewoks are, I mean, I think, still think that it should have been Kashyyyk, and I think it would have been better with the Wookiees. But, How dare but you? You don't think the Wookiees would have been great? I love I Ewoks, Kashyyyk? though. I know, but it's, it, it's a little hard to believe that the little murder bears could take take out the stormtroopers with rocks. But they eat people, though. Yeah, after, you don't the, know. after they hit him with rocks. Yeah. Um, either way, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> slightly put I'm gonna slightly put Jedi over um, Force Awakens. Also, another reason why is because I think that it ties into the greater uh, trilogy a little bit better than so far. The Force Awakens is tied into this new trilogy. So that's uh, no one asked for that, but I, I give it to you. Anyway. <laughs> well, what's next? Mark Ellis will be happy. Yes. Uh, let's do casting. You guys were starting to touch upon it earlier. Yeah, Maybe man. this will help those of us who don't understand the Knights of the Old Republic as well to learn a little bit more about these characters. Patrick Zamora at Patrick underscore Carlos C writes, uh, hey, Collider Jedi Council, that's us. With the recent Knights of the Old Republic news, would you uh, who would you be your dream casting for the three main characters? Darth Malak, Revan, uh, Bastia, Shan. Uh, oh, Bastia, Shan is the same. Yeah, she's yeah. the same. Um, uh, huh. Bastila could be Jessica Biel. And the reason I bring up Jessica Biel now is after watching her work on, um, what the, the hell? TV show Seventh Heaven? Whatever. Nope. The, the TV show? The TV show, The, yeah. one sh uh, the Sinner. Right. Okay. After watching her on The Sinner, I've become a, a massive fan. I would also, and, and, and I'm going to pitch her for everything, Michelle Williams. I'm going to pitch her for everything. Well, she's, she's a, so great. She's, she's top three actor, actress. What about someone who's, I mean, been in sci fi movies, uh, uh, Alicia Vikander? I think she's good really call. good, good and call. like the look of yeah. of Bastilla as well. And going on the and flip side of that, and I don't well. know if they're still dating anymore. Um, Fassbender. I, I would put Fassbender. That's as, what as I was going to bring up. Yeah, yeah. I as Revan. Revan. I was actually going to bring up as Malik. I think Malik's like Malik is more of um, y you know y I think you can t I, what I hope they don't do because what's, what will probably happen is Malik will probably get cast as Mark Strong. Right. Mark Strong usually plays these types, of, and I like Mark Strong, but he just he's it's just it's you know I just think that you could have. Um, you know who would be good is what's uh, what's what's Baelish's real name? Aiden Gillen. Aiden Gillen would be interesting oh, as okay. Malik. Interesting. Be, be, I mean, you, you, you put him in the prosthetics yeah, 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 and you okay. have him. But but I also want to say something. Also, I want to see like a grittiness in a in a and a kind of uh, there's a, there's like this intense anger with Malik. Okay. So do you think, think he should be older then? No. 
He doesn't need to be. Mm -hmm. They need to be around the same age. The two of them are is similar, but um, okay. I mean, uh, but again, this is this is their version of it. Mm -hmm. So they can make them whatever age they want. They can make them younger if they right. want. So um, it's it would be interesting to see what they come up with. But I think there's a ton of other people that I mean, it was just kind of on the the fly. So mm -hmm. I think we looked at a list. Uh, what I want to do is what we did for Schmoes back in the day, is do a fantasy draft. I want to do a Jedi Council fantasy draft. If Knights of Republic gets cast, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, gets announced, then we we will do that thing for the cast. By the way, n none of us have ever been paid for that, by the way. The, the, the payout was supposed to be all the cast. Everyone inside of that bet was supposed to get me and Riley, who tied for the uh, Force Awakens draft, mm -hmm. and we never got what paid. Did you, what were you supposed to it get paid? It was supposed to be like a big sushi dinner or something. Oh. No, yeah. Thanks. I'll get you some Starbucks. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, I'll get you McDonald's. Okay. okay, makes some sense. What do you say? You don't I, know I have no idea. Well. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, I really, I really don't. Uh, I, you Are know, there I'm, any actors that you would like to see in a new Star Wars movie like, uh, that you love? Yeah, there's a lot. I just don't know. I just don't know these characters. I, I, I and again, I've heard all these characters. I, I. Uh, I know Malik, I know Revan, I know of it, you know, but uh, who they are, what yeah. they represent, yeah. and their layers. I don't know that. I have I a question though for you because I know how yeah. you are when it comes to this stuff. Because a lot of times, like if there's mm -hmm. if there's material that's out there, if a movie gets announced, you'll go and read that, and you want to learn a little yeah. bit more about it. Will you will you be inclined more to play this game now, or would you decide to stay away from it because you want to learn it in the theater? Uh, honestly, at this point, I might want to stay away from it yeah. if it's actually happened. It's not that I've not wanted to play it. I just didn't game. A lot back then. Yeah. Uh, when you and you, yeah. To your credit, we one of the first meeting you early on before we were even dreaming about talking. We right. were just trying to tell jokes. You, you, you love this stuff, and, and you're not the first to tell me about it. I, I just, um, I, I just didn't dive into it. So if, if it actually happens, I think I'd want to try to go fresh perspective. Yeah, I'm shocked though because I think if you really got yeah. into it, you wouldn't see you for about a week. Um, <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. yeah. I'm right, still managing one. my baseball team on MLB the show, and it's taken a lot of my life. I understand. Know. Let's do one last one. One last one. Okay. Let me go to Twitter. Live as best I can <laughs> Are because we live right now? no, we're not live. But I'm just you know what I mean. Uh, some of the other pre-selected ones. What show? Are um, we on? You know, Part just it, okay. yeah, we're we're doing that. Uh, um, mm, mm, mm. Thanks, talk talk amongst yourselves because I want to find a good one. If you I already talked to Christian for two hours this morning. Uh, you it's guys do a lot. <laughs> you guys do do that a lot. Uh, oh, I love this one. I uh, see. I found one. Good for you, David Wilson at David Pockets ninety. Hello, hey, Collider Jetta Council. How do you think fans would react if Ian McDiarmid is not uh, in physical form as Palpatine, perhaps some sort of spectral form? Uh, thanks, may the force be with you. What? Are, how? So, so, do we think? Let's just forget any other rumors. Let's go to the Rise <laughs> of Skywalker teaser trailer, yeah. the laugh. Luke saying no one's ever really gone in more of a menacing fashion. McDiarmid comes out. Obviously. A lot of excitement. Right. Big moment. WrestleMania moment in yep. a way. Um, Big pop. So what happens if it's uh, not uh, what our expectations are already building? Might not be. Might not be. It might be. I mean, you mean to I, see the character? A lot of people are like, screen. is he the big bad? Is he come out beyond a curtain? I've been alive the whole time. Right. All those things. Maybe it's just a voice. Right, right. Maybe it's okay. a image. Well, the question is, the, 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 well, first of all, the thing that I've been saying for, the comparing it to for mm -hmm. a while is, um, is Voldemort, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The first, if Voldemort didn't come back in physical form, Right away, what did he do? Mm -hmm. he, I mean, in the, in the Professor Quirrell, he, he shows up in the back of the guy's head, right? And, he, and right. he's trying to. It took four movies for him to actually show He's trying to show find up. his form the yeah. whole entire time. So, and, and Palpatine might have figured out how to cheat death, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that he can come back in physical form. Right. I mean, I, uh, he could come back a, a, a myriad of, of, mm -hmm. of different ways. He could come back in. Um, Was a Sith Force ghost? Do those exist? It's, it's never been it's never been really explored. But there's something to where like he could he could possess somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, he could mm -hmm. he could you know be uh, there could be so much stuff that he could do. Um, the dark magic mm -hmm. that they play into that. I think the reason why it could absolutely work. Uh, but I'm also okay with physical form, depending on how long has it been happening. It's been 30 years, mm. right? 30 years since, since he's been gone. So what's he been doing in those 30 years? Was Snoke, was that, was that the body that was coming back? You know I mean? Right. Like, was, was that the one that was starting to, and then after Kylo killed him off, he had to go start all over again. Like, it, is that possible? Like, there's, there's so many different options. What do you think and what do you prefer? I mean, what's possible i i don't know we haven't seen a sith force ghost right no. as, as far it, it, as i know it's not really possible it's more hauntings possessions okay possessions is the thing. that would be cool because yeah. i'm a horror fan i like what if but not sharks no 
Uh, Because that's a real horror. I like fake horror. But um, what if he does show up, you know, the first time you see him in a movie and and you think it's one of the good characters, like the moral characters, and all of a sudden, like, you see the eyes or something, you know, like, turning into this creepy, like, you and and he's possessed them. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that. (laughs) I love that you're just like... Hey, yeah, I love that. yeah, it's Where super creepy. Uh, I, 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 a delicate balance. I, I definitely don't want full form showing back up. I, I don't mind him saying I've been alive or I cheated death. I don't mind that. I just, I don't want. Got to be a plague is kind of. Yeah, yeah, right? that, that's fine. That, that's that's fine. I, but I, I'm not completely sold on just wanting him to be a voice or a holocron. Like I do want him involved. Is, is, he, is he or the, the memory of the Emperor of MacGuffin that both right. people are chasing right. after? I still think this is Ray and Kylo's story. So what what's drawing him to that? Uh, I like Palpatine kind of being really pissed at Kylo. Man, right. there's <laughs> my way back and you killed him. Right. Uh, that could be interesting too. Yeah. So I, I haven't locked myself into one thing yet that I would think would. Right. I just hope they yeah. don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just hope it's not like you don't <laughs> see him at all. Because that's kind of, yeah, that's like I'll, a big tease that you're selling us. I'd like us. to hear him. I'd yeah. love to hear him. I mean, McDermott's yeah. so great. Yes, right? and, he's fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you, I don't know if you fly him out there. Uh, well, I mean, he's out there to sign autographs and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, make well, money well, from doing that. But I don't know if you bring him out there and, and have him yell, roll, roll it, again, it again, and not give this big moment. You're selling it off. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That's my, and that goes back to my Matt Smith conversation. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like, you, there's, there's a way, there's a way to get it fans excited and then there's a way to then then you start lying to fans mm-hmm. because and I'm not saying they will I think that he's going to have a big part and I think okay. that you'll hear his voice and I think there'll be things that that happen for sure um, and maybe even maybe even if you don't necessarily see him in physical form but he's involved but then he comes back in a holocron and that's where you see his physical physical form what if both Palpatine and Luke fight it out as force ghosts at the end of the movie yeah, I don't know if I need to see force ghosts fighting but like but but the thing is I just want to like, be going off of what you said if they start saying, roll it again, and they bring him out, oh, Palpatine, the big laugh at the end, and then he's he just k- kind of there, but not really, and you never see him, you never hear him. It is, that, that's like false advertising, and, it's, and you're getting us excited for what? Just because it's kind mm-hmm. of a che- that's a cheap trick. That's, a, yep. that's an emergency break glass thing, but I don't think that's the case. I think right, that right. this is going to tie into it because it makes sense totally. for him to do that. No, we're in um, agreement there, yeah. All right, listen, that's the, that's, well, that's the show. <laughs> that's, that's the, the show. show. That's what we did. We talked about Star Wars. You listened to it. What did you think? Do you think there's going to be a Knights of the Republic movie? Um, how do you feel? Who should be cast in said movie? And do you think Matt Smith is going to be a liar? Go ahead and comment in the comments below there. Please do that. I'd like to thank our panel today, obviously, Darina. Thank you for having me. Always yeah. love you and Ken, that's even nice. though I see you more. Yes. Yeah. So you like me more. Meh. Kind of. I Sorry, I don't want you guys to fight. Oh, yes. we we wouldn't fight. We're like Elton John and and his and Bernie. And Bernie yeah. Toppin. Bernie yeah. Toppin. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's the one thing you know, I, like I thought that. about you, by the yeah. way, because uh, I used to write song lyrics. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Yeah. In in that movie, Elton mm-hmm. John says that in all the years that he's worked with Bernie, mm-hmm. and I think it's longer than you mm-hmm. and I have been working together, not one fight. I don't believe fight. you and I have ever had a fight. No, you know, it, it, we're, ju- we're like two proper uh, English gentlemen. We yeah. just stew silently and then <laughs> just yeah. go have a taco. We have never had an argument, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah. Like, so, right. all right, you son of a bitch, let's get into it. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So Ken Knapps, like, make sure you get his book. Ken, what's going on with the book? Tell hey, him to get it. Oh, hey, uh, why we love Star Wars uh, is out and about. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, leave a review if you want. Uh, Barnes and Noble, IndieBound, a lot of places. You can ask for it at bookstores. Uh, just had a great opportunity, thanks to uh, this person who occasionally is nice, Darina, oh. uh, to give a uh, have a Google talk about it. So that's coming out soon. But it's been uh, going well, man. Good. Thank you. Get that book. Do it if you're a Star Wars fan and you're a Jedi Council fan do it all right guys thank you so much make sure you get those tickets over at the schmodownlive.com you got the big big title match with rachel cushing if you're not going to be at comic-con right but you live in los angeles or anywhere near near san diego drive there go see it go watch it. it's going to be a great way for the meet and greet for to come meet the collider live crew the jedi council crew you can come and see it and the tickets are available now at the schmodownlive.com and if you are at comic-con no excuse get on over there get your tickets at the schmodownlive.com san diego july 20th at the joan b croc theater going to be a lot of fun and then if you're in new york obviously you get those tickets for august 31st uh download us on apple podcast stitcher spotify wherever podcasts are found obviously and you want to go and subscribe to this channel this is the main channel now there's the collider live channel that if you want to see us talk some news and nonsense every morning from 10 to 12 and fridays 10 to 11 go on over to the collider live channel subscribe there leave your comments here do everything you got to do and may the force be with you always